shots the entire year. Or number two, that's shooting 42% from the free throw line, you can make five in a row. Yeah. Because you make your own luck. When totally. you're giving that kind of effort and that kind of energy. Actually, I just told them they need to be buying number two a steak dinner because she beat us by herself. Oh, she wow. had a double-double at halftime. Coach, it seemed like turnovers were our Achilles heel early. I think in the first half we had about 12 turnovers. What do you think it was? Do you think it was being back in the baby dome, or what do you think? I mean, they, they, we, it, the, the turnovers initially uh, hindered the flow. We didn't have much flow. Um, and it was probably because we had a couple of people pressing too much. Okay. They were much more deliberate on the offensive end. We would come down after one or two passes and just take the first shot. And it wasn't even a great shot. So, I mean, we, we created our own issues. Well, Coach, uh, we know you got to run uh, into the locker room. We appreciate you. But one final question. I might have to walk into the locker room. You might have to walk. I don't, know, I don't know about running. I may have to walk in there. One final question. How do we how do we grow from this one? This is one of Gotti's questions. How do you grow uh, from this one and get ready to play Jackson State next Saturday? Uh, well, well, first, uh, put them in front of the tape because film doesn't lie, as they say. Now, and, and, and I, I love this. If you see my stat sheets, there's a whole lot of writing on it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, these numbers here don't lie either. So do they need to see this? you got to be brutally honest with them. They need to be a come to Jesus meeting, as they say. Oh, I like to get my Coach Carter speech. <laughs> wow. Well, good luck, Coach, uh, down the line. Uh, we're behind you 100%. We just know you're going to get better, and uh, we look forward to a more exciting Panther basketball down the line, women's basketball. Folks, right, stick around. You. More exciting action coming your way. Part two of this doubleheader. The men are in town. Another battle of 2-0, and oh, trying to be number one in the conference. Stick around. Reload. This is exciting Panther basketball on the Prairie View and University Panther Sports Network. Welcome back to the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Porter, G W A T I and Gotti Wadima. The Lady Panthers, man, had a rough time uh, in game one of this doubleheader. But uh, the Panthers men's team uh, is going to rebound and, and redeem us here in the Baby Dome as a very tough Texas Southern University Tiger basketball team uh, comes to town. Gotti, man, uh, the battle of uh, first place is going to happen right here in the Baby Dome tonight. Yes, welcome back to the Baby Zone. We're so excited to be back in our home and getting reacclimated. But yes, you are right. This is going to be a very tough game on both sides. You're dealing with the, uh, a Panther team who has been having a great season so far. And then on Texas Southern, a team that has been breaking records and really changing the game uh, and, and really um, setting a different pace for the swag. I mean, this is a team that has beaten Oregon, Baylor, and most recently, Texas A&M, which are not easy feats. So I'm really excited to see how the Panthers match up with this Tigers team and, and looking forward to just an impeccable game. We have some great players to watch in Jalen Patterson, um, Davisio, Butler, Jeremy Cobbs, Trayvon Weed, and then on, on the Panthers side, Gary Blackson, Dennis Jones, and, and a, a host of newcomers who have been really setting their mark for the team. Yeah, the Panthers are, are coming in uh, tonight with uh, a record of 4-11 of, of and 11 overall, 2-0 and in conference play. The Tigers are 7-8 and 2-0 and and in conference play. Two pivotal teams uh, who are really trying to find their niche right now, um, really going at it here in the Baby Dome and what we folks always have called uh, the biggest rivalry in the Southwestern Athletic Conference, the Texas oh, yeah. Southern Prairie View Showdown. I mean, we're really excited uh, about what's going on with uh, Coach Byron Smith and his team. And, uh, man, you know, a brand-new coach, Johnny Jones, on the other side of the ball for uh, Texas Southern. Man, this is a good coach. He, this, this guy <laughs> incredible, is an incredible coach. So we've got two incredible uh, forces going up against each other, and this is going to be a really, really, really good game. We're excited about it. And, folks, let me tell you, don't turn that computer screen, and hopefully you've got your HDMI cord plugged up to your television, and you can watch it in real time. It's going to be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. 
For all the latest news in Panther Athletics, visit our official website at pvpanthers.com. Follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by searching us at PVAMU Panthers. Folks, don't forget uh, you can join us. Uh, next week with more exciting Panther basketball as, uh, man, the uh, swag really gets underway. And uh, the Panthers take on Jackson State right here in uh, the Baby Dome. Devasio Butler, Jeremy Combs out on the floor, uh, Eden Ewing on the floor, Jalen Patterson, and John Jones for the Tigers of Texas Southern. For the Panthers, Blackston, Jones, Iwan Ellis, Gerald Andrus, and uh, Devontae Patterson all out for the Panthers, man. And what a find in Patterson and uh, also uh, Andrus, man. Coach uh, really beat the bushes and found some great prospects out there for the Prairie View and Panthers. You're looking at me crazy. Did I call somebody wrong? 23s out there? Devontae Patterson? Okay. Yeah, Devontae Patterson and, and both Andrus have been making a great impact for the team so far. Um, Patterson having nine double-digit scoring games this year, as well as Andres coming off of a 22.9 rebound game versus Houston Tillotson. Jeremy Combs puts up the first three-pointer. It's no good. And here comes the Panthers' Dennis Jones. Jones right side to Andres, and he'll work and give it back up to Jones' left side now to Blackston. Blackston looking for some room. Kicks it in to Andrus. Andrus wanted to work on it at the bottom to get it to Patterson. And the corner for a three-point play. Iwan Ellis all over the back that time of uh, Jeremy Combs. But no uh, answer. And the answer is Gary Blackston for three. Gary Blackston, the second leading scorer in the pack in the SWAC, has had two double-double games this season. Is averaging 15 points, seven rebounds, and one assist. Just our, our leading senior veteran on the floor. Left side with it. Now is uh, Butler. Oh, Butler down uh, to the right side to a streaking Eden, Eden Ewing. And Ewing uh, slams it home for the Tigers. Uh, the Panthers up by 1-3-2. Left side, Andrus has it. Left in corner to Patterson. On the baseline, Patterson with a double pump puts it up. But Iwan Ellis there to clean it up. And, man, yeah, the Panthers really going at it here early. 5-2 to two to score here in the Knicks center. Great rebound and finish by Iwan Ellis, a player who has improved tremendously since last year and has been just a, a, a great impact on the floor every time for the Panthers. And I love to see players continue to develop and improve their game over the seasons. Butler out left side to Patterson. He'll take a three-point shot. That one's off the mark. The Panthers will chase it down. Ellis with his second rebound, and here comes Jones to run the point. Jones right side, Andrus up to Ellis, left side to Jones, inside to Patterson, off the glass, reverse layup, it's good. Very crafty, smart move, way to just go straight up and put it back in. Keep it simple. Left side now is Jones, he'll put up a three-pointer, Jones for the Panthers will try to steal it away, no, down low, Combs off the glass, no, and a foul called on, is that Patterson, 23? Look, on the arm, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Folks, coming up at uh, the half, we're going to talk with the Vice President of Athletics, Mr. Fred Washington, a three-time graduate of Prairie View a University, former Luke. Mm -hmm. I think he was a captain in the Army, uh, yeah. fighting for our country. Thank you for your service. And uh, he operates at the pleasure of the university. Kind of stole that from him. Uh, I, I like that. <laughs> he works at the pleasure of the university. You, you, I tell you, man, you know, I, I, this th th this is a, a phenomenal Panther, this uh, Fred Washington. And uh, I think he's going to take us into the future. Yes. It's just a great time to be on the hill it right is, now. Man. It's just, just all around. <laughs> you know, our motto in the Panther Club is, is uh, it's a great day to be a Panther. Andrus with a turnaround jumper at the right elbow. No good. The rebound snatched down by Combs, and we're going back the other way. 7-4. The Panthers up by three. Knocked out of bounds. Jones says, I knocked it off of Devasio Butler's uh, chest. And, man, you know, these are some real athletic Tigers. I, you oh, know, yes. they look, <laughs> you, they don't, they look kind of small on television, but these are big dudes that have yes. going on right here. That's kind of why I looked at you crazy earlier because he stood right here, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't believe how tall he really was. Oh, man, the putback in the slam there by Jeremy Combs to cut the lead to one. 
for the Tigers. And here come the Panthers. Jones to Blackson. The Panthers showing no panic at all. I love that poise. And Blackson will take a three. That's going to be off the mark, way off the mark. And here come the Tigers with a chance to take the lead. Butler almost has it knocked away by Jones. And they give it up to the point guard, Jalen Patterson. And he'll work. Patterson looking down low, couldn't find Ewing. Now Combs will take it himself, and Combs will put it off the uh, graduate uh, from uh, Dallas, Texas, attended LSU. You know, <laughs> he can do it, and uh, Blackston uh, can't hold on to it, and he'll put it down. Too wide open. Jeremy Combs had a clear path to the basket. We have to make sure we're playing defense beforehand, stepping up on the ball. 8-7, the Tigers up one and with the ball. Coming up at halftime, folks, uh, don't forget Panther Profile, a very brand-new segment that we've dropped in here with Ray Worthen. She's going to highlight the uh, Panther that is highlighted on the program. Each week, uh, one of our players are highlighted. And uh, Ray Worthen is going to tell you about it. Checking in for the Panthers, uh, Chancellor Ellis. He's a junior from... Queens, New York, a transfer from uh, New Mexico State here to Panther Land. He loves it. Blackston will have it right side, guarded there by Ewing. Wide open and trying to do the reverse layup. It kind of looked a little lazy was Devontae Patterson, and that's going to be the uh, first media timeout, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers are uh, down by one, folks, eight to seven here in the early going. Stick around. This is exciting Panther basketball on the Prairie View and University Panther Sports Network. Are you riding? But uh, the score, 8-7. And uh, the Panthers uh, at the line. Patterson for two. Ellis will check back in uh, for Prairie View. Waiting on eternity. <laughs> and uh, when I say I'm waiting on eternity, I mean... Eternity, uh, Jackson, the student. Uh-oh, Gotti must have been caught doing something by my hey, frat hey, brother, hey, Juan Hill. Hey, my business, please. I'm telling you, you got caught. I look at Juan Hill. That's my <laughs> frat brother. He got my back. Right, left side with it now is Ellis to Jones, down low to Andrews. He'll take it from 10, hits the side of the iron. And, yes, I was waiting for Eternity. And uh, what's your last name, Eternity? Go read. Oh, you from Louisiana, ain't you? Yeah. Your people is. <laughs> Eternity Go Read, uh, one of our fine students here at Prairie View Indian University uh, in sports information, helping us out, bringing us and keeping us updated with the stats. I think we've got to download that and go back and uh, restart over. Wide open, Andrews for three, yeah. Wonderful shot by Andrews, who's been just a tremendous scorer for the Panthers. We look forward to a lot more from him. The Panthers uh, starting off uh, a little uh, shaky with three turnovers. And uh, shooting 50% uh, from the field. It hit more than half their shots. Tigers at 42%. And a jump ball called as the Panthers will get it. Two and four is the Byron Smith era against Texas Southern. A couple of big wins last year and the year before for him. Uh, two and four is the schedule. Of course, uh, last year the Panthers made it to the finals under uh, the, the uh, coaching of Byron Smith. It just came out flat that game. I don't know what was going on that game. The Panthers just uh, wanted to play but didn't seem like they were ready to play. And uh, it was a tough uh, contest for them. 
The Panthers with a steal. Here comes the, the fast breaks. Jones with a roll off the glass. Yeah. Takes it in as uh, Kevin Granger Jr. has checked in. I wonder whose son that is. Well, Dennis Kevin, Jones. No, Kevin Granger was a standout point guard from I forgot what part of Mississippi he was from. And uh, Granger's son loses it, Andrews, off the glass. Yeah. Dr. Simmons likes it. Love the teamwork, the effort, really moving the ball around and opening it up for each other. But back to showing my age, uh, Kevin Granger was a standout point guard for Texas Southern University from uh, some small town, I want to say Leland, maybe, Mississippi. No, that was uh, another point guard from Leland, Mississippi. At any rate, uh, he is now the uh, interim athletics director at Purdue UNDM. So I imagine Kevin Granger Jr. is uh, the athletic director's son. I imagine. Especially with him being from Houston where they both reside. And uh, I know Kevin, and I know he lives out in the Ridgemont area, and he went to Ridge Point High School. So, yeah, I think so. Great deductive reasoning there. <laughs> I should be <laughs> Sherlock Gnomes. How about Sherlock that? Sherlock Home, buddy. Sherlock Home. 14 <laughs> 8. At the top of the key is Jeremy Combs uh, shooting uh, three pointers. The Tigers, as a team, 65% from the charity stripes. Checking in for Texas Southern Justin Hopkins. A uh, red shirt sophomore from Mobile, Alabama. Pardon me, Huntsville, Alabama. How do you get away from Bulldog Country? And uh, Chancellor Ellis back in for the Panthers. So we got Ellis, Patterson, uh, Johnson, Jones, and Ellis out for the Panthers. Blackston to Johnson, his doppelganger. And Johnson puts it in for three. Darius yeah, oh, pardon me, Darius Williams. There I go with Johnson. He's wearing two. Now, Way does, to Williams, knock you down. does Williams look just like Blackston with those headmans and those? Very goatees? similar. I thought yeah. it was him from the back. That's his doppelganger. You know what a doppelganger is? No, yes. I don't. You don't? Uh, okay, what is it, Gotti? Ellis for three. He's fouled, no call. Someone who looks just like you, not related to you. Doppelganger is a ghostly double. Oh, steal from Granger. Great pass. And Great hustle by Dennis Jones. Jones with the block there on Justin Hopkins. And uh, Texas Southern will keep it on their side. They're going to call a foul on that one or what? What's going on? Andrus and Iwan Ellis getting ready to check back in for Coach Byron Smith. Folks, at some point in time during the season, we're going to talk with Michael Hurd, the author of the book Thursday Night Lights. He works right here in the engineering department on the campus of Purdue and yeah, Didn't even know it. Mm. As uh, Combs puts it up for 217 to 11, the shot clock didn't start. Take three seconds off. But, yeah, um, works right here on the campus of Prairie View and m Great story about the PBIL and the great uh, athletes that have come out of Texas. And, uh, man, I, it's so un in uncanny that I, you know, grew up knowing who a lot of those superstars in that book are, who they are. Garland Boyette, Clem Daniels. Otis Taylor, Cliff Branch, Lloyd Wells. I mean, wow. It's just, I'm like, I knew these guys, and they're all from, most of them from the PBIL. Jones with a three-pointer, bounces around, no good, and Combs takes it down, and we'll go back the other way. Swag, swag basketball action back here in the Baby Dome next Saturday. At 3 p.m., doubleheader against Jackson State. Join us here in person or watch live at pvpanthers.com. Jones with some great defense. Man, the Panthers on them tight. Get your hands up. The Panthers uh, the Panthers getting them fired up down to seven seconds. Oh, man, it's getting fired up here. Yeah, baby, jump ball. And the Tigers will have it. But, man, that incredible defense, man, the Panther faithful are here. And the Baby Dome is, is, is pretty darn packed. 
I love that swarming defense. They gave him no opportunity to breathe. That's the kind of intensity we need to keep for in the entire game. 11.28 left to play here in the first half, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, what an exciting one. The Panthers up by 6, 17, 11. We'll step aside and come back with more exciting Panther basketball. At Prairie View and m And Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Support the team that supports your Panthers. with uh, Ray Wortham and also talk to Vice President for Athletics, Mr. Fred Washington. We're excited about it. As the Panthers are on top of the Tigers 17-11, the Panthers with that swarming defense calls a shot clock violation. And here we go back the other way. Right side with it, just checked in, is going to be Tyshawn Johnson. Left side to Blackston. That one's ooh, way off the mark. And uh, Blackston saves it in. Tyshawn Johnson a uh, graduate student from Indianapolis, Indiana, and uh, Kevin Granger Jr. picks up some American Tourster. He's traveling. Four turnovers uh, for the Tigers, man, but the Panthers just giving it away, Gotti, with seven. Three? Oh. Oh, seven assists. Okay, yeah, with three. Okay. No, Panthers, They're giving uh, it away to each other. Exactly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't look at that one. Andrus can't hold on to the Tyshawn Johnson pass as Combs goes for it. And uh, checking in for the Tigers of Texas Southern, my, my nephew over there, Kanan McClellan. Left side with it now is a Patterson. They put it out to McClellan for three. And McClellan can't find the hole. And here we go, left side. Johnson goes around McClellan now, puts it in the paint, throws it away almost. Blackston gets it. Oh, man, McClellan on him like a glove, though. Oh, Williams, pardon me. They're, they're hitting me with it. You know, don't, don't just point. Make me get on my game. Andrews <laughs> with the left side working. Turn, spins, puts it up from five. Yeah. Incredible patience by Idris. Way to really keep that composure and finish with the easy bucket. That shows some veteran leadership right there. A great addition to the Panthers. Patterson throws it down and gets it to Combs. He can't find the hole. Blackson will get it down there. McClellan with a block. <laughs> McClellan, he's shaking his head like, uh-oh, good. <laughs> Go on, nephew. <laughs> I'm torn between two lovers right now. <laughs> what? Don't take him out the game. What are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, My goodness. Wow. Oh, wow. I, he makes a great play. You take him out the game? Bro? No, I, I love to see that. I mean, when I attended Purview and undergraduate, was he was in middle school. <laughs> and now to see him as a sophomore at DSU, I mean, it's just amazing. Well, you think that's amazing. Look who's sitting right next to him. I know, his little brother. His brother asked elementary him. elementary when I was. Yeah, that's a good oh, What does McClellan that say about Dynasty. me? Up top with a double pump that time Great was penetration. Uh, Johnson, and he misses it. You know, I, well, you know, folks are a trip, and uh, there were some uh, issues or some idiots saying, you know, oh, they got on the team because his daddy was the athletic director. Well, first of all, what you don't know is uh, both of them boys been playing basketball, AAU basketball, since they could breathe. <laughs> Second of all, they're both almost – I know Kanan, or Ashton rather, coming out of school, uh, was a 4.0 straight-A student. And I think wow. Ashton was a 39 and a half almost student coming out. I uh, mean, those are some great kids. And one thing we knew about both of them was that they were going to listen to and do exactly what the coach said. They're going to be very disciplined players and uh, do a great job for coach, and they've been doing that. Left side with it on the dribble drive there was Derek Bruce, the senior from Moreno Valley, California. He probably knows Jordan Penneman. And uh, he's going to be called for the offensive foul. Bruce, one of the mainstays for Texas Southern last year. That was a good defense there by Iwan Ellis. Mm -hmm.
Johnson working on the right side, working on Bruce. Gets it back up now to Chancellor Ellis. Right side now to Jones with 15 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Patterson working in the paint, turning, twisting, putting it off the glass. Nope, he says they, uh, that uh, Patterson picked up a little Louis Vuitton gear, and he's over at Bush Intercontinental getting ready to do some travel. <laughs> I like that. 21 to 11 to score. The Panthers up 10 here in uh, the uh, first half. 9-12 left to play. A birdie there on the left side. Wide open there. Debasio Butler for three. Hits the side of the iron. No. Here comes Johnson with it. Johnson right side. Blackston. Working around the pit. Good defense. Wide open. He's going to be Patterson. He's going to dribble drive off the glass. Misses the shot. Oh, man, you got to hit those. And here we go back the other way. Great steal there. Good hands by Johnson. Jones has it in the paint. He loses it. Oh, my goodness. It's mad capillarity. Right side going up. Powers. No. All over the back that time was Butler's. I mean, uh, Patterson. I called him Powers as in Austin. Shouldn't have been watching the movie late last night. But Patterson goes up and uh, hits it on the side of the iron. Can't find the hole. And the Panthers will get it back. And then Butler jumps on the back of Jones. That was a good hustle. One thing I want to see more of is offensive rebounding. There's not many white jerseys around once we get that shot, our shots up. So we're not getting any second chances. On defensive end, we are rebounding very well. But we want to get some more of those offensive second chance points. Tyreek Anderson will che- or Armstrong, pardon me, will check in. A uh, junior from Houston, Texas. Transfer from Weatherford College. As up top with the Johnson will have it and give it over to Blackton. Blackton left side. Patterson says, I'm going to challenge you at the paint. Man, I think he was going to try to say, uh-uh with that one. And dunk it. <laughs> and coming down with it now is uh, Butler. The Butler. refs are really letting these guys play tonight. Now Armstrong up top. Ray agrees. I almost called you by your nickname, uh, mm-hmm. Ray. I have, a, I have a pet name for everybody. I'm just saying I think if we had these referees during the girls' game, it would have been a oh, totally, totally different, different game. <laughs> for sure. Is that Patterson or 11? Uh, yeah, Patterson uh, with the pop on the arm. And the uh, referee and officials look over and said, hey, man, it's time for the media timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take it with them. The Panthers uh, are on top by 21 to 11. But before we go, Ray, what you got? Nothing? Stick around. Welcome back to the Baby Dome. Our um, Panthers are up 21 to 11. The PVAMU men's tennis team opens the spring season Thursday at SMU. For full schedules, visit pvpanthers.com. Devasio Butler is at the line shooting free throws. The first shot is away. It is good. Second shot is away off the mark and snatching it down is Blackston. Left side, three point shot. Tyshawn Johnson, no. And some uh, real hustling going on there. And the Panthers uh, will get that one on the jump ball with the possession out. Well, um, Butler doesn't have any uh, stats here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Butler, uh, a 40. Uh, 61% free throw shooter. I'm sorry. I've got to reach and stretch way over there to Ray Wortham. 7.37 left to play. Thank you, Eternity. What a beautiful name for a person. Eternity. I said, why did your mom name you Eternity? Because she said I was unforgettable. I said, oh, girl. girl. Wow. <laughs> I'm just making that up. 7.31. <laughs> Left to play, folks. Uh, the Panthers up 10. On the line is going to be Blackston. The Panthers, you know, pretty decent. Uh, Coach uh, Smith always asks for about that 83% clip. And uh, the officials want to take a look at the last shot. Oh, he, he's getting it. Yeah, there you go. Well, the Panthers uh, doing a heck of a job, and the uh, Baby Dome starting to rock with little Frankie Beverly and Mays. How about a history lesson? Man, the uh, 
concerts here in the Baby Dome used to be off the chain. In yes. 1982, 1982, uh, one of my uh, neighbors, his name was Buster, down the street, uh, had some car trouble down here on a Friday and asked me to come and pick him up. Well, we couldn't pick him up because he something happened. Well, we ended up finding out it was homecoming. I was in 11th grade. Okay. And uh, <laughs> lo and behold, Frankie Beverly and Mays was on the Council Prairie View Anime University. They had a concert right here, right in this gym. I was standing right over there for the whole time. Wow. It was off the chain. Second child is the way it's good. Yeah, I've been around here quite a long time. I'm telling on myself. Coming to Prairie View since 1982. You were a distant thought, Ray Worthy. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> you were a twinkle in someone's eye, darling. <laughs> huh? Is that play enough for you? Blacks in second challenge. Third challenge, we know. 23 to 11 to score. The Panthers on top with 729 left to play. Coming down right side with it is Derek Bruce. Back up top now to Combs. Combs looking left. Wants to give it up to Hewing. And a foul call. On the Panthers. Nope. The foul called on the uh, Tigers. And we'll go back down the other way. And here comes uh, the Lady Pan uh, the Panthers. Pardon me. I'll get in trouble for that one. 7.15 left to play. In the first half. Johnson. Right side to Williams. Oh, great move. Ball movement. Left side, Andrews wide open from the uh, left side. That's his shot, that left side baseline jumper. Bruce down low, kicks it inside. Combs wants to work, throws it way outside. Left side, John Jones wide open, but he'll take it in the paint. Hits it off the side of the iron. It's knocked away, coming down with it. It's going to be Williams. Williams weaving, bobbing, going right side, looking at the elbow. Puts it up from 10, yeah. That's the aggressive kind of play we need here. We got to keep it up. Great offensive possession. It takes a lot of skill to really go laterally and then square your body up to the basket and knock it down. Nice finish. Bruce, left side, gives it up, looking down low. Great steal by Andrews. Here we go now to Jones. Looks like a funky donkey. No, it's on the backboard. And uh, is that Granger? Coming over to, man, Granger was way upstairs. He almost touched the shot clock. That's, that's that Dwight Howard type of jump. Yes. No, I'm sorry, that was Ewing, pardon me. Was that number two? Oh, yeah, 24? Ewing. Ewing, yeah, man. Eden wow, Ewing. did you see how he talking got up about there. above the rim here? G. Willikers. Well, it's a media timeout on the court, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around. We're going to take a, a break and come back with more. Exciting Panther basketball right here on the Prairie View and University. Panther. Sports Network. And I don't think it's just your smile. We're back live here in the Baby Dome as the uh, Tigers uh, with, the, with the ball can't find the hole, and Dennis Jones is going to get it and send it back right side. This is personal for the Panthers as uh, Williams. Oh, man, with a cup and off the glass for two. Cupped it and put it off the board. Sorry, Gotti. And, and uh, one. Man. That's what I was saying. That's all. <laughs> I love the hustle from the Panthers right now. Good defense. Are they going to call a foul? Are they going to say travel? Are they going to knock it out of bounds? Are they going to call a timeout? It resulted in a foul, but just that defensive energy, Just they just need to keep bringing it because it's really working in their favor. About 39 left to play, 29 to 11 to score. Panthers all over the Tigers here in the first half. Up top with it, Tyreek Armstrong coming right side. Oh, great pass down low. Man, what a pass to Jeremy Combs. Combs can't find the bucket, but he gets his own rebound, puts it back up, and one, he gets the foul. We'll go to the chair to strike. Oh, just an impeccable pass by Tyreek Armstrong and a great finish by Jeremy. Just way to stick with it. I really love that young man's game. You have to have those type of people in that position because they see the court a lot different from what we do because when he passed it, everybody was like, oh, I didn't see that. That's, that's the and one pass right there. He, mm -hmm. he learned that in the street somewhere. You didn't, you didn't learn that in the gym. Yeah, we went to the park. And we didn't, <laughs> didn't. 
Anderson, uh, Armstrong, rather, or pardon me, Combs. Get it right, Charles. Uh, missed the three-point opportunity. Only a 40%, 47% that he is, free throw shooter. From the charity strike. Jones gets the pick, goes around to the right side with a double pump, puts it off the glass. No. Bruce will get it back and take it coast to coast. Bruce. Oh, man, that's a nice one there. Bruce with the speed getting to the bucket. Incredible the athletic ability there. Johnson loses it. And uh, some good hustle there by Armstrong. And stepped on the line, but uh, Johnson lost that one. Just lost the handle. They'll give it in to Blackston. Where's Jones? There he is. Okay, that's who you get the ball to. Oh, wide open. Williams for three. Boom. Oh, in and out. No good. What a long rebound by Andrews. Puts it back up. Yeah. Wow. That was a reach of a, a rebound that he he went for. Holmes pushed around. The Panthers get the rebound. Here comes Johnson. Pushes it up. Double pump. Puts it off the glass. No. No foul. Gets the rebound. Puts it up. No good. And here come the Tigers with the rebound. Great play here, man. This is a good one. Combs. Man, he smacked Had it uh, pinned to the backboard that time. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll that, is that, some, that is some great hustle, some great aggressiveness. So we'll, we'll take that from Gary Blackson. And uh, Combs kind of walking a little gingerly after that uh, hack. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the battle down there. I would hate to be in that game right now, but um, Jeremy is, is a very skilled player and and has kept his composure every time he's in the post. Combs shot his way. It's good. Here comes uh, Ellis back uh, in for the Panthers. Combs with one more, 31-16-4-12. Left to play in the first half. Sending shouts out to Birmingham, Alabama. You want to say hello to Cooper? How about that? Which Cooper? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Here comes uh, Blackston with the crossover. Looking down low. Kicks it right side. Jones will have it. Back on to Andrus in the corner. Ellis for three. No. Good rebound. Oh, man, that time by, was that Andrus that got the rebound? The official standing right in the way. He couldn't see. And that's going to bring us down to the four-minute mark, ladies and gentlemen, the four-minute mark. So that means it's a media time out here. 3.48 left to play here in the first half. The Panthers on top of Texas Southern by the score of 31-17. to We'll be right back. Stay with us at halftime. We'll have key halftime stats tell you about this week's Panther profile and get you set for the second half. 3.43 left to play here in the first half. With it on the right side, it's going to be Bruce now back out to Combs. Wide open is John Jones for three. Yeah, he hits it. It's good. Well, the uh, Tigers have cut the lead to 11 now. The Panthers are uh, kind of going on a scoring drop here. Good defense, good aggressive play last night, uh, last trip, but couldn't find a hole. Jones to Andrus. Andrus spots for three. Off the mark, the Panthers going kind of cold from the field, and he will go back the other way. Coast to coast, high off the glass that time was Tariq Armstrong and Coach uh, Byron Smith says, hey, man, that's your stuff. He's uh, all, all over uh, Andrew. Hey, man, that's your opportunity. Folks, uh, outdoor, or no, indoor, I'm sorry, tracks started on yesterday. The Panthers went down to Texas A&M uh, to participate in their uh, opening, south, uh, opening um, indoor track meet. I uh, have not gotten all the results. We'll try to update you on that uh, a little bit later on in the show. The women's uh, bowling team are getting ready to get out of here on the 19th of January. 
uh, to the SWAC Roundup in Dallas, Texas. You know, they've got this uh, complex down uh, in Dallas. Gosh, gee, well, because I can't remember what it's called. But it is a, a super-duper bowling um, complex down there in Dallas. As a matter of fact, I was looking at uh, ESPN the other day. They had a bowling tournament on there, and they were showing where the Panthers get to play down in Dallas. So for those of you who uh, are in Dallas, Texas, go and support the women's bowling team at the Southwestern Athletic Conference Roundup in Dallas, Texas. And we're going to try to, Ray, if you can get that uh, that uh, facility, uh, I'd appreciate it. It's in Dallas, Texas. Uh, the Panthers starting off with their match at 9 o'clock a.m. that morning. Johnson. Oh, pardon me. Williams uh, with two. There he goes, looking like the, the triplets there. And Dennis Jones is going to go in and reach for that ball. The Prairie View at the IRTC um, Stadium. That's where it is. IRTC place, wherever that is. The International, I can't remember. I saw a push off for uh, on Gary, uh, Gary Blackston, but apparently he was called for a foul. We really need Gary Blackson in the game. He's such an a energy leader right now on the floor. We just hope that this won't make him play more passively, being, having two fouls early in the first half. Bruce pretty good, 86% from the charity strike. Can't find a hole, though. 33-22, to 22, the Panthers up 11. Lazy pass by Blackson that time. A dangerous one. Although a bullet. Blackson up top. Going right side. Man, and uh, the Tigers really playing the passing lanes. Armstrong knocks that one away. Down to 13 seconds on the shot clock. We're getting close to crunch time of the first half. Blackson working now on Derek Bruce. Bringing it up back right side. Andrews finds it. Looking for the 20-footer. And has to kick it back out to Blackston. Oh, pardon me, uh, that's Williams. And I think Williams was looking at the shot clock. It was only one second left. And, uh, <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Our president is looking like, where are you going with the ball? <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. Do you remember, other than the TSU game, uh, Gotti, during your tenure here at the at Prairie View and them, the president coming to all the games that she could come to or he could come to? Not throwing the rocks or nothing, but what I'm saying is it's so refreshing to have her supporting our, our sports teams. Yeah, it's it's really awesome to see her in, in present in front row. I know um, uh, President Wright came to many of our Combs. games and even traveled with us during the um, NCAA stint that we had. Um but I just love to see the administration and the president being present. It just makes you feel good as an athlete. It know, really does. Makes and you know that you count. Yeah, and the president, uh, Dr. Wright, came to a lot of games. He wasn't just at the TSU game either. I'm just saying it's refreshing to see the president so engaged yeah. uh, in what these students do. With the do. students. Yeah, and, exactly. And those people by name and different things like that. Um, yeah. Tristan Wallace will check in for the Panthers. Wallace, a dual sport athlete, uh, played his uh, senior year. Um, yeah, you didn't know Tristan Wallace was out there. He's number 22. Oh, plays football, right? Yep. And just a heck of a football player is uh, <laughs> yeah, now playing physique. basketball. And uh, Combs runs right into the wall called Tristan Wallace. He a, he's a big dude, you know. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... Uh oh! It's basketball season. <laughs> it's, it's, just tackled him. <laughs> it's kind of cool to see um, you have those students that can play multiple sports because basketball is a more you know it's a, a lot harder aggressive sport than this. This you have to have some type of flow and softness when you shoot the basketball. You can't that be, touch. You can't yeah. run people over like you do in basketball. Like this is a whole switch up for him, but he's able to make that adjustment. I think finesse is what you're trying to say. Finesse, he, yeah, yes, he, I'm trying to, he, you know, he has a he, you have to to turn it down a notch when you're used to mm -hmm. running over people. <laughs> you got to turn it down. You got to turn it down a notch. Well, my dad did tell me finessing is a blessing. 
Oh. So, yeah. We're going to steal that one. I'm going to I'm going to have to steal that one. 33:25. A minute 17 left to play. Folks, we'll take a quick break and come back and talk with uh, our vice president for athletics, Mr. Fred Washington. Real quick. Okay, Gary. One minute left to play. John Johnson uh, on the right side, man. Pops it for three. Great three-pointer. We cannot leave anybody wide open on this TSU team. These are some great athletes, and we'll take advantage of every opportunity. And in the moment you relax is when they turn things up. In the corner, right side for three. Great follow Antoine, by Gary Blackson. And Blackson, yeah, puts it right back in there. 35-28 to score. Going right side. Oh, man, how athletic is Combs way up there and sandwiched between uh, a... Jeremy Combs and, and Ewing Sandwich that time <laughs> was Blackston, or pardon me, Williams, and uh, we'll take the long walk down the Tigers. Both teams actually in the bonus. And uh, Williams will be shooting the one and one. Got to take advantage of those free throws. Here we go back down the other way quickly. Armstrong shoots it up from 20 off the glass. Wow. And he didn't one even second. call that one. Well, the uh, Tigers, man, have came roaring back into this one, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, cut the deficit to five. The score here in the Baby Dome, uh, 35 uh, to 30. Some quick thoughts, uh, Gotti, before we go to the break. No, just an incredible game so far. It's pretty much like 0-0 when the Panthers come out and the Tigers come out. You can see their aggression. You can see their thirst for this game. Looking forward to a great second half, a battle to the fittest, and the Panthers are looking in great form. 35-30 to 30 the score. Stick around. We'll be back with Fred Washington right after this important message. At Prairie View A&M University. The William Nick Center, ladies and gentlemen, Charles Porter, along with GWATI, Gotti Wadima, Ray Wortham. Panthers are uh, up 35 to 30 uh, in a, a real close game. With me is our vice president for athletics, Mr. Fred Washington. Man, uh, first of all, your thoughts on the game? A, a pretty good one going on here, huh? There we go. You have uh, taken the helm uh, on uh, the Department of Athletics for going on two months now? Uh, October. Yeah, four. four months. Wow. You, <laughs> in, in such a short time, man, a lot of changes. Uh, have been made in the Department of Athletics. Uh, a lot of things uh, for the better, man. We're we're turning around, moving this ship slowly out to sea, and man, as Christopher Cross would say, we're sailing. Yeah, we're sailing. You know, we're uh, we're excited to be focused on you know the things that are the, in the best interest of our student athletes. So, but I think if you do those things that help student athletes be successful in life. And in the classroom, then it's going to, you know, just show itself in everything that they do. And we should benefit in, in the playing field. This isn't your first rodeo. I mean, this is your second go-around as athletic director. A very successful President's Award uh, uh, during your tenure. Championship football game during your tenure. Um, the Southwestern Athletic Conference Outstanding College Award a couple of times during your tenure. So you've already kind of got a plan on what needs to be done, what should be done, and what's going to be done. Uh, for our athletics department. 
Well, you know, what we did then, and, and, and I think what we're doing now is we're listening to the students. The students really do tell you what they need to be successful. And if you pay attention to what they're saying to you and what they're showing to you uh, that is important to them, and you, you provide those resources and support, they perform. They give you everything that they got. And, and what I've been very happy and, and fortunate to do is inherit a, a institution and a program where students are excited to come to. So as long as we keep recruiting quality students, we keep you know, providing great coaches and great facilities and great academic experience, I think we're going to continue to see success. So, yeah, we, we had a uh, really good run from 2008 to 2013 during my first 10 years. Depending on who you ask, Charles, we won 14 championships, 15 championships. I, I, I really don't know. We won a lot of them. We, won, we, won a good, we, we were very excited to win a lot. Uh, but the thing that uh, most people don't talk about during that 10, 10 years was our student athletes graduated at the second highest rate within the state of Texas. And so when you're when you're providing that type of platform where you can graduate student athletes at a high level, you know, you're gonna attract good people who are seeking the quality education and the quality opportunity. So those students were successful in the playing field and they were successful in the classroom and consequently we believe that they're successful in life. Well, the Panthers are uh, on pace to continue that, those championship winning ways, and, and uh, we're very excited. I was trying to remember Commissioner's Cup. Commissioner's Cup, yeah. We I won was trying to remember. We, four? Two. Two. We two won the uh, back-to-back Commissioner's Cup in 2012 and 2013. Those were the first in the uh, program history. Fred, thanks a lot for stopping by here. Three-time graduate of Prairie View and University. Yeah, yeah. Fought for our country. Uh, captain in the Army, man. We're just so proud of him. and so proud to, to have him. Thanks a lot. We'll be Thank talking. You throughout the season. Yeah, I got three degrees. I'm trying to get one more. If the College of Business can get their PhD program uh, in place, I'm going to uh, go and get that one, too. Wow. I love Prairie View. You've heard it right here. Prairie View and University produces productive people. Stick around. We'll be back with Panther Profile. This is Exciting Panther Basketball on the Prairie View and University Panther Sports Network. Welcome back to the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. 35 to 30, the score, the Tigers down by five. Our Panthers on top of them. We led by as many as 11 points, uh, 15 at one point here in the first half. But, man, that three-point barrage there at the uh, end of the first half uh, saw Texas Southern creep right back into this one, uh, Gotti. The uh, statistics here, Gotti wasn't, uh, <laughs> wasn't ready for me there. The uh, Panthers are tied in the paint, 16 points apiece uh, in the paint, six points off of turnovers for Prairie View and them, only four turnover uh, points off turnovers for the Texas Southern Tigers. And uh, the uh, Panthers with six turnovers, the Tigers with nine. If the Panthers come out with the same fire as they did in the uh, first half, I think we might be successful here, Gotti. Yes, I totally agree. And the Tigers are not going to make it easy for the Panthers. So it's really going to be about who really puts their best foot forward. This is a Tigers team that is very disciplined and plays to the very end. But we have to defend home court. So we will see a battle here. Ewing kicks it down low, left block over. Oh, man, the cutter. Nobody's there. Oh, and my goodness, Jones. John Jones. I called him John Johnson just a minute ago. But Jones uh, couldn't find the easy bucket. And here comes Blackston around the uh, left side in the corner to Patterson. Oh, great skip down to Ellis with good defense that time by Combs. And a turnover will go back the other way. The Panthers didn't get down in time and an easy bucket uh, by Eden Ewing. We've been doing a great job sharing the ball, and that's evident by the 10 assists that we have right now. But you want to be careful not to overshare and really take the opportunities right in front of you and to be most effective. Andrus back up top to Blackston. Oh, man, Ellis was wide open there and missed it. Here we go, Patterson, and uh, he stepped on the line, and, man, they said uh, he pushed off, man. And, uh, so is uh, Ewing saying, he man, he pushed off. Wherever you see the elbow, he's standing right there. Uh, but uh, the no avail, they're letting them play here tonight. Oh, We're yeah. going back the other way. My favorite type of ball. Jones had it right side, now kicks it over left side to get it down low to Combs, or pardon me, to Hewing, and Hewing with the turnaround jumper. It's good. 
nice, pretty turnaround jumper. He's so effective. We really have to make sure we get a hand in the face to really block their vision because these guys can shoot. Yeah, the Panthers let them back into this, and now they're only up by one after leading by as many as uh, 15 in the first half. Up top, left side now. Was Tayshawn Johnson. Blackston finds an easy one. The Panthers have a lid on the, on the bucket here. The Panthers, oh, with a good takeaway. Here come the Panthers on the fast break. Blackston takes it coast to coast and one. Combs. And that all started with great defense and good hands by Dennis Jones, but that was a great athletic finish by Gary Blackston. Blackston with a chance uh, for an and one. The Panthers shooting right around, uh, I think it was 74% from the uh, charity stripe. Uh, actually, 67% from free throw range. Not quite that 83% clip uh, as coming into this game uh, but not as uh, that 83 percent clip that uh, coach Byron Smith likes uh, for the first half the Panthers shot 44 percent from the charity strike four of nine Ellis with a takeaway they were trying to find Combs couldn't and here come the Panthers 38 34 Blackston finds a hole turns spins wow puts it up and he's fouled but man what a move that <laughs> time by Gary Blackston Steve Willikers. You watched Gary Blackston last season really dominate and really show us different aspects of his game. And this year has really taken it to another level. We're talking about player development and really appreciating players that continue to get better. And he's someone that, despite who's around him, he makes them better. And he just continues to show, show us that it's not a fluke. He is actually really good. Blackston's first shot is away. It's good. Folks, don't forget, coming up exciting, Panther basketball keeps coming your way next Saturday right here in the Baby Dome. The Jackson State Tigers come to town to take on the Panthers. Uh, the tip-off is at 3 o'clock for the women's game. Join us, folks, if you can't get here at about 2.45 for an extended pregame show. And then, of course, the men tip off at about 5 o'clock. And wide open over there, nobody, nobody guarding the backside. And Edwin Ewing gets... An easy funky donkey. Jones puts it way up high off the blackboard, looking for Ellis. They pass it around to Blackston, thought about the three. Jones waiting over there on the wing. And Blackston now in and out. Blackston tries to put it in. And Kent and Combs will come out with it. 40 to 36. The score. And Ellis is going to be called for a foul as that time uh, Jalen Patterson, uh, the, grad the graduate student from Atlanta, Georgia, uh, takes it towards the bucket. Sorry for throwing your papers away there, Ray Wortham. By the way, your mom called you earlier, so you're in big trouble. Oh, did we have her off? Oh, shame on you. <laughs> I know she called. Um, we're having a family get together because it's my brother's birthday today. So right after this, we're driving to Houston so we can go uh, celebrate with him. Will they be chitterlings? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not coming. <laughs> Aunt Betsy's chitterlings, boy, I tell you. You better try to find them. Easy to clean. <laughs> I never had them that clean, easy to clean. Folks, I want to still remind you, uh, coming up uh, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be talking with Michael Hurd, the author of Thursday Night Lights, the story of black high school football in Texas. And we spell out what the PBIL, the UIL, and the TLCIS used to be. So it's going to be a great, uh, a, a great interview. I'm looking real forward to it. Michael Hurd works right here on the campus of Prairie View and m University. All right. Media timeout on the floor. 1646 left to play. The Panthers up three, 40 to 37. left to play here in the second half. The Panthers up 40-37. Jones with the ball now. Kicks it back off to Andrus from the top of the key. The Panthers have found a lid 
on the goal, man. They can't buy a shot here in the second half. As uh, coming up with it now. It's Derek Bruce who gets it over to Jalen Patterson. Combs up top, right side to Jones. Back over to Bruce, and uh, something's going on. Three seconds in the lane, and there you go, Gotti. Your call the three-second violation by the uh, Tigers of Texas Southern. Jeremy Combs uh, lit a fire and uh, put some rocks around it. He's camping. <laughs> Different game, but we'll definitely take it. Blackston, right side to Jones. The Panthers with good ball movement. Over the blacks, and he thought about it. Now he steps back and shoots it from three-point range. It's the front of the rim. No. Earlier in the game, we mentioned offensive rebounds and how important those are. When that shot goes up for the players to crash the board, we're seeing a lot of standing around, and we need those second-point, oppor second-chance opportunities. Media time out here on the camp, on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Before we go, though. Ray for, all, for all the latest news in Panther athletics, visit our official website at pvpanthers.com. Follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by searching us at PVAMU Panthers. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball. We're back courtside here in the William Nick Center. Charles Porter, GWATI, Gadi Wadima, and Ray Wortham. The Panthers are going up for that one. Is that uh, two? I couldn't see the official standing right in the way. That's Ethan Ewing uh, with the push, with the putback. He really stuck with it in there and was able to draw the foul. But I know you find this less in the men's game, but that boxing out is super important just to really clear that area so you can get an opportunity to snag down the ball. But Shot is the way it's good. Good shot. Chancellor Ellis will check in for the Panthers. And also with his height and his athletic ability and with his aggressiveness, you've got to block him out because he's already jumping over everybody. You have to get him away from the basket so we can get a chance to get the ball. Second shot is the way. Hits the side of the iron. No good. Blackson snatches down the rebound and here we go. Blackston up back back up top now to Johnson. Back to Blackston looking for Williams, the three guard rotation. Here comes Blackston. Oh man, right over to Andrews. Yeah, for two. Draw Andrews. Andrews, the junior from Lafayette, Louisiana. Man, he is a find. I tell you, he plays great defense. Eternity go re. Yes. Thank you very much. Just a great addition to this Panther team. I mean, we have so many players that can come and really give us that spark that we need either off the bench or in the game. Isaac Bruce. Part Isaac Bruce. Shame on me. I'm thinking Ooh. about football. <laughs> Derek Bruce uh, puts it up. Who was so effective last year in the championship game against Texas Southern. Man, he was lighting it up on the Panthers last year. There he goes again. And he's off the mark. But you don't want... Bruce to get hot. We do not, uh, no. I think he had a, uh, 26 points, I, I, something like that. It was um, something I've seen that he had. He's shooting Double 20. pump. Oh, man, what a roll there that time yes. by Darius Williams. Him and Blackson have very similar games and look They do, similar. and it's yeah. awesome because it's a very effective and 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 strong one. So the fact that we have almost two of the same person is yeah, exactly. amazing. <laughs> That's why I called him a doppelganger. His ghostly double. All the way in the corner. Wide open. Oh, man, for an air ball that time. And uh, here we go. Bruce going. Ellis is, uh, I thought Ellis was going to say, no, you can't have that. Way not to foul, though. you rather give that two-pointer up and then get it back on the back end rather than get a foul and to the bonus. Yeah, 44-43 to score the Panthers. Up by one. Oh, man, bad pass. And a charge. Are oh, they going to call a foul? Mm -hmm. 
on Blackston rather than I would have called charge. a travel before I called a foul, but, you know, that's why I'm not a referee. I was wondering why he was still on the floor, but his shoe came off. That's what it looks like. I guess he got kind of ran over, maybe. It looks like he's got a, a knot in his shoe. Mm -hmm. Sneed off the bench for the Panthers. Or, pardon me, that's Chris Baldwin. No, it's not. Sneed. Leon Sneed. The junior from DeSoto, Texas. I'm looking at the wrong set of guys. But Baldwin is in the game, uh, just to let you know. Long pass. Andrews takes it away, puts it up, and one. Yeah. Amazing poise and strength that he showed right there. Despite two people making contact with him, he kept his composure and finished. Sean Olden Jr., a graduate from Tulsa, Oklahoma, left TCU to come to per, uh, Texas Southern. Andrews, shots is away, no. You got to focus and make those free throws. Um, every point counts, especially um, this close of a game. Patterson gets it down low, a double pump and an attempt from Justin Hopkins. A red shirt sophomore from Huntsville, Alabama, puts it up and uh, went to Samford College. Transferred into the Tiger basketball program. First shot is away, no good. Tyreek Armstrong will check in for the Tigers, and then Devontae Patterson will step back in for the Panthers. Justin, Justin Hopkins at the line is a 72% free throw shooter. Second shot is away. He nails that one. And here we go. Williams to Johnson. Johnson working right wing. Looking left with a crossover. Gives it back over now. To Will oh, and a foul. That should be up. He was right inside the three-point range. That's Golly my, gee, was Darius Williams. That's my favorite move because it's so effective. The swing through, one dribble pull-up because it's really hard to defend. And 99% of the time, you're going to get fouled on it. Yep. And, and as a defender, you got to, like, stand your ground. But he's going to go. You got, okay, I got to go. But then he's going to pull up. Okay, now I got to pull up. And that's how you draw the foul easily. And plus... Did you see him swing under that, swing under his hand? Yeah, he's a very, uh, he can see the floor very well and very aggressive player. Second shot is away. It's good. And now the Panthers lead 48-44 with 12-24 left to play in the second half here. Armstrong, left side over to Derek Bruce. Down low. Oh, man, the Combs, he misses it. They're going to call a foul on Blackston. And he's not a very happy camper about it. Come on out of the game. Andrews will check in, and that's three. Oh, no, four on Blackston. Wow. Combs at the line with another couple. First shot is way no good. Combs uh, was six of nine from the charity strike in the first half. Second shot is away, it falls. That's a pretty cool hairstyle. Um, Jeremy Combs is rocking there. Looks like Buster a, a piece oh, of <laughs> a piece of art, a sculpture. Forty-eight, forty-five. The score. You don't think that's a Buster Ryan? <laughs> nah. <laughs> His hair is like mine. No, it's position different. Yours is laid down. His looks like 
Buster Rhymes uh, hair when he has it tied up. I forgot that song, that fast song he sings. Oh, wide open, man, and uh, easy lay-in was Sean Olden. Andrus for two. Man, he's on fire. Panthers are doing a great job sharing the ball. Armstrong at the top of the key. Oh, great pass inside. And a foul. Oh, man, come on. He had all ball there. That's a very athletic move by Justin Hopkins. He was completely facing away from the basket, and he finished. Just wow. a nail biter of a game. This may come down to the wire. Swag basketball action back here in the Baby Dome next Saturday in a three, a 3 p.m. doubleheader against Jackson State. Join us here in person or watch live at pdpanthers.com. Stick around. We'll step aside. 50 to 49. The Panthers up one. This is exciting Panther basketball on the Purdue Atlanta University Panthers. Sports Network. This Panthers sports. On top by one, 50-49. At the line, uh, shooting the end one is Justin Hopkins, the sophomore from Huntsville, Alabama. Hits the front of the iron, no good. So the Panthers will maintain the one-point lead as uh, we get another opportunity. Up top, right side, Tyshawn Johnson has it and gets it over now to Jones. Blackson's on the bench with four fouls. They get it right side. Back over to Williams. And Williams... Followed by, by Derek Bruce. That's the second Derek Bruce just does not agree, but he's the type of player that plays with a lot of defensive intensity. I actually really love the way that he plays, but you got to be careful. I mean, especially right in front of the refs. They are, you have to make sure you're not affecting the player with the ball. Antoine Lister checks in for the uh, Panthers. He's from right down the street in Brenham, Texas. How about that? Yeah. I like it. The Panthers, man, and the Tigers really going at it in the paint. Tied for points in the paint at uh, 26. The uh, Tigers yeah. winning the rebounding war as of the last break by 132-31. That one's going against Justin Hopkins. That's three on him. One more, and the Tigers will be in the penalty. The Panthers already there with seven. And, oh, man, a nice running shot by Darius Williams. That uh, high-floating teardrop, huh? We can put all kind of names on that shot. Oh, yeah. Uh, Great defense by Jones to really stay in front and contain Patterson. Which is a hard thing to do. I mean, he's very skilled. Yeah, Patterson dipping that shoulder. Mm-hmm. Patterson has been kind of quiet today, which is rare form for him. He averages 14 points. So for him to only have one point right now is he's in rare form. Yeah, Chancellor Ellis with a pretty good-looking three-point shot there. Just couldn't find a hole. And... Uh, We'll be going back down uh, to the Tiger side as the Panthers are in the bonus. And a foul on the floor for Derrick Bruce. Checking out Jalen Patterson's stat line, and he also has four turnovers, three rebounds, and this is a player who averages 15 and 2, excuse me, 14 and 2, and 4.7 assists. Right now only has one assist, but his teammates are really stepping up, such as Jerry, Jeremy Combs, 17 and 14 right now, and John Jones with eight points. Bruce's second shot is away, and it's good. Now the Panthers still up by only one, 52 to 51. Wow. 
Ball thrown out of bounds wow. off of uh, Justin Hopkins. What an incredible hustle by Devontae Patterson, never giving up on the play. That's the type of teammate you want on your team. Out of bounds. Okay, that was Johnson. I couldn't see. He was way in the corner there. Johnson will take it on the baseline. Oh, man. Uh, up and under. Patterson, oh, man, with the rebound, loses it, and it goes out of bounds. Yeah. Out the foot of uh, Justin Hopkins. We'll keep it. It tipped off the t TSU player, but... Coach Johnny Jones does not agree. Right side with it now. It's Williams on the dribble drive. He puts it up high off the glass. And they're wow. going to call a traveling violation on Williams. They called a charge on Williams, not you know, a charge. I'm sorry, a uh, charge, yeah. Wow, well, that's two fouls on Williams. But no one fell. No one even, okay. It's interesting. Getting close to the third media here. 9.22 left to play. Here, Derek Bruce, left side. And another traveling violation. All fair and loving basketball. Same thing happened just <laughs> the next play on this end of the floor. I didn't think it was a charge either, but hey, we'll take it. 904 left to play. The Panthers will get a turnover. I want to send a shout out to uh, Ron Leverett, uh, who I guess is watching it via. Panther vision. That's my main man. And I, I got to sincerely thank him for uh, finding uh, Marcella Thomas uh, for the broadcast team. I tell you, we've just got so many scouts, you know, out there scouting. <laughs> <laughs> Devontae, that was a good pass, but he just put too much on it. Too much stink on it. And second away, here come the Panthers. Oh, great pass over to Devontae Patterson. Yes, for the funky dunkies. Yes. 54-51. That's the way to keep the momentum going. Jones can't find the hole. We are in no hurry. This is the time to really just slow it down and, and, and run our play our basketball. Andrus from 15 off the glass. That's beautiful. Way to knock that down. Short jumper. Panthers definitely have the momentum right now and are being very effective. Picked up some Sam tonight. He's skipping Tulu, my darling. 803 left to play. Three seconds. We'll have a media time out here. And uh, the Panthers up 56 to 51. Well, I'm looking at my ESPN, um, trying to find out that Chiefs game. What happened? You know what? Here comes Jones. You can try to look it up for you. Try to look that one up for us. Jones, oh, man, he almost traveled. Yes, oh, man, what a forceful yes. shot. And uh, now the Panthers up seven with 746. Next whistle, we'll have a media timeout. Up top, oh, man, wide open. And a foul on the floor. And the, uh, yeah, just as I expected, the, uh, the Chiefs did what they were supposed to do, folks. The PVMU Bowling Teams will open its spring schedule in Dallas at the SWAC Roundup Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For more information and full spring schedule, visit pvpanthers.com. Stick around, folks. We'll step aside. The Panthers on top, 58 to 51. 7:36 left to play. If you're
We're back live here in the William Nick Center, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Porter, GWATI, Gadi Wadima. And uh, it's a very lovely Ray Worthy. For the latest in uh, Panther Athletics, visit our official website at pbpanthers.com. You can also follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by searching us at PBMU Panthers. And Ray's looking at me like, that's my spot to read. What are you doing? Taking my job. I'm just really, I'm really hyping this book up uh, by Michael Hurd. A lot of people have uh, purchased the book. Oh, a steal for the Panthers. Oh, almost steal. Jones couldn't hold on to it. And here we go back the other way. And Williams steals it again, but he throws it away. Coming on the right side, the Panthers and the Tigers will get it. And the Panthers will get it and a uh, some good sportsmanship there. I like that. With uh, Mr. Uh, Eden Ewing. Ewing. Yeah, he kind of knocked the crap out of Patterson. And he picked him up. Helped him up. I like that. But a great book by Michael Hurd. Thursday Night Lights, the story of black high school football in Texas. Great, great book. And uh, I tell you, if, if you haven't picked up a copy, you should. Patterson at the line. Fifty-nine, fifty-two. Somebody's leaving but doesn't want to go because it's so exciting. <laughs> Seven, fifty-nine to fifty-two. The score and uh, the Panthers trying to to find Paylor here. Up top, right side now with it going to the middle is Patterson. He kicks it down low on the right side to Hewing. Hewing from twenty hits the side of the iron, no good. The Panthers can't. Yep, Jones. Gets in and now. We've got our ball handlers out here. Is uh, we're getting close, folks. Six fifty-five left to play. Jones worked on by Armstrong. Right side now. Patterson gives it up to Jones, and Jones tries to go around, and they're going to call that one on twenty. Oh yeah, Armstrong will pick up number three. Wow, you never really can predict what is going to set the referee off or not. But what I would like to see right now is more movement off the ball. Um, a lot of standing around. Dennis was going laterally, and there was not much movement on the play. I don't know if it was a five out, and he was just supposed to isolate. But with the Tigers and a 2-3 defense, you still want to get some cutting going on to give that option just in case Armstrong doesn't foul. Jones hits the bottom on that one. First shot is good. Sending shouts out to Flint, Michigan, to my main man, Gregory Burks Jr., a.k.a. Twan. Uh, I think uh, he is the leading scorer in uh, Caribbean University basketball history for right. the men, I think. One of those accolades. I don't want to take it away from the old school guys, but uh, I know he's a thousand pointer like somebody named Gotti Wadima. Oh, I'm laughing. See, look at you. I'm just all on your tip. Oh, man, great hustle by the Tigers there going right side. Now with it is Olden in the corner. Patterson will have it left wing with a fresh shot clock. Patterson throws it up. It's knocked into the hands or knocked out of bounds. All over the back was Anderson. They didn't even call that one. And that's okay. <laughs> 609 left to play in this one. GB says uh, if this these games are nowhere near as hype as they used to be. And the baby dome. You know, they're early, too. Y'all played at five and seven. So, oh, he's got a call. That one off the backboard. Sean Olden Jr. hits a three-pointer. G. Willikers. Very clutch shot for the Tigers right now. Johnson slowly brings it up right side. The Panthers really maximizing off the turnovers of the Tigers, scoring 15 points to TSU's eight points. And what's been the saving grace for the Panthers is that they have been keeping their turnovers low. Right now, only having 11 with five minutes and 31 seconds. And as a coach, you want your team to have 15 or less. And so they've been doing a really good job taking care of the ball and sharing the ball as well with 17 assists 
to eight assists on Texas Southern side. Man, the Panthers are doing well from the free throw line, man. Good job. 50% in the first half, six of 12. In the second half here, shooting 52%, six of 11. Also playing very active with seven steals to Texas Southern's three. Also winning, winning that rebounding war, 35-33 there at the last break. Down low is uh, Combs and one. Andrews couldn't get over there in time. Patterson and Anderson down low there in the paint. Six-point lead, excuse me, by I, the Panthers. I will say this, though. Texas Southern's ball movement is just, like, a lot faster than – what we have going on. I think that's how they got that foul because they went from outside of the three-point shot to down low, and all our defenders were like, oh, no, like, what happened? And then just sharp and crisp, right? <laughs> I tell you, yes. she just gets better with time. <laughs> Johnson. Working right side with the crossover, finds a hole, kicks it back out. Andrews, that's his shot from 20. Yeah. That's a sweet spot right there. That oh, little 15-footer. Yeah. Seems like he could hit that all day. There's Hollywood will say, well, that's your sweet thing. <laughs> Deep three-pointer. And as a player, Armstrong. You all right. As a player, um, you really want your guards to set you up in a position where you can be successful and he is just just so effective at the mid-range area, and it's great that John that Dennis Jones continues to get him, get it to him in the right areas in the right spot. Patterson uh, does an old school clip branch clothesline there on Johnson, and uh, the uh, both teams in the penalty of the double bonus with ten fouls. And we're uh, going in. The Rams and the Cowboys have kicked off. And everybody's going to try to be running out of here to get to watch the Cowboy game, right? <laughs> yes. Well, I'm a Texan fan. I ain't going to even tell no story. But <laughs> I pulled for the, for the Cowboys when they're in the playoffs. That was a tough loss last week. Oh, my goodness. Especially after such a great season. No, the tough loss was the Bears' loss to the oh, Eagles. Oh, no, that was a tough loss. Man. Here comes Armstrong, left side, Blackston on him like a glove. In the corner, wide open to, oh man, Devasio wow. Butler is fouled on the three-point shot. That's the first foul. Wow. We gotta see if we can't jinx Butler here. Butler, pretty good, 68% free throw shooter. Is that right, 68%? Mm -hmm. Hits the first one. Uh, um, I got 33%. But, uh, 33? I'm, I'm stretching but, oh, way oh, over there. Oh, you know what? No, that, that's better because this is a little outdated. So oh, that's okay. more accurate. Second shot is way. No. Okay, there you go. Blackston now coming back in for offense. Offense for defense now to keep Blackston away from that fifth foul. Third shot is way. It's good. So two out of three ain't bad, huh? 67-59. The Panthers need to score on every trip here. Four minutes left to play. And definitely slow down the ball like they're doing now just yeah. to control the tempo of the game. Mm -hmm. It is TSU who has to fight back to get into the game. So we want to make sure that we just play with the most poise possible. Wide open there was Andrews. Yeah, the Panthers, man, with great perception. Great perception, man. Mm -hmm. What a pass down low. Yes, and I tell you, vision. man, what a good For pass sure. down there. And the Panthers are looking great. Stay with us post game as we'll be joined live by head coach Byron Smith. 341 left to play. This is exciting Panther basketball on the Prairie View and University Panther Sports Network. At Prairie View and M University.
Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, Isaiah, we're back live here in the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Courtside, I'm just sitting here jamming, waiting. Isaiah's not even looking over here. And I'm like, uh, what are you doing? And he's like, uh, you're already back home. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't being me. How about that? Yeah. Me too. Meet me outside. How about that? <laughs> 6959. You know, I've got some crazy friends. Uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of social media as well as media uh, outrage about it. certain singers and stuff and asked me was I gonna bring that up during the broadcast. I'm like, why would I do that? Oh. And yeah. and uh, I'm like, that is just so We won't give that so, any energy. So crazy. I said, man, no. And they were texting me here just a mo moment ago and say, hey man, you know. I said, man, you know, you act like you didn't go to Prairie View. You act like you went to TSU. <laughs> Same moment. I just made that up, folks, by the way. <laughs> Johnson trying to work some clock here. The Panthers up 69 to 61. We need a score here. Andrews has been hot down low. Johnson kicks it out. Jones for three. Yeah! That's nasty. Wow. Talking Incredible about shot by Jones. Man, talking about working the ball. We're going to stay right here taking doing this one. Yeah, taking our time and working uh, to find the open shot. Man, what a great shot and a great play drawn up by Byron Smith. Yes, just to, just to see it develop there, really taking their time and, and seeing what opens up and Dennis Jones being prepared and ready to shoot. I mean, you couldn't have done that more perfectly. Andrus is having a great game uh, also down in the paint. We got to keep feeding him because he can hit free throws. He's doing a great job. 10 of 16 uh, down low uh, for 21 points uh, for Gerard Andrus, who, who's doing a great job for us. Man, He's the hot man. Give it to him. But if Jones can do that every time, that's good. And when we talk to Byron Smith, we're going to talk about Blackson getting in foul trouble. Just really getting excited to play here against this arch rivalry and, and making some silly fouls. But, man, when you've got backups like Andrews and uh, Johnson and Williams, man, I, I tell you, that's a, that's a good thing to have. That's amazing. And even though Gary Blackson is in foul trouble, he still has a double-double, 14 and 12. Yeah. And he's been doing an incredible job rebounding despite not even being close to the tallest person on the floor at 6-1. He's been almost averaging a double rebound figure. They're going to call a foul down low there. This is at 23 on Devontae Patterson. Uh, yeah, and it's uh, 11 fouls. Of course, we're in the double bonus, so everybody gets two fouls. This shot. What's the free throw average for Combs? Yeah, he's not doing uh, a lot from the, the charity stripe. Folks, uh, other games uh, in action here. Today, Southern's at Grambling. Alcorn is, uh, pardon me, uh, Alcorn's at Jackson State. And Southern is at Grambling. And, of course, we're here at Prairie View a &M. First shot is away. It's good. Coming up Monday, Southern takes on Jackson. Alcorn is visiting Grambling. Alabama State's visiting Mississippi Valley State. And Alabama a &M will go down to the bluff, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and take that beautiful ride through Lake Village Run Leverett. They won't go to Dermot, though, but they'll pass by. Up top with it is Johnson. Johnson, another dribble drive. Tries to put it up off the glass. Yeah, and a foul by Bruce. And Bruce, mm, boy, sensitive area. 2.33 left to play. The Panthers up by 10. Panther Sports Broadcast Team. Bringing you live coverage. What is Christian's last name? Golly gee, Willis, I'm going to get flowers. in trouble. Flowers. Christian Flowers. <laughs> I only know that because I can't forget the flower part. I don't know. Oh, wow. She's a flower girl. <laughs> Christian Flowers, Isaiah Hubbard. Of course, our executive producer, Michael West. He's the man that, with the magic that makes it all happen. Shayla Thomas, our producer. And, of course, yours truly, GWATI and uh, Miss Ray Ray Worthy. Almost... Almost uh you almost said told it. everybody I'm not gonna do it. I'm not I'm not gonna do it. And you can't make me. You can't make me. 231. Left to play right side. Here we go. Up and off the glass. No, a foul called. Uh, is that one gonna go against Jones? Wow. Jalen Patterson. Win. Is that that's going against Ellis? I win Ellis, yeah. 
Jalen Patterson will go to the line. The Panthers now, we're, we're, we're going to have to slow the ball down. I'm sure Texas Southern is going to stall uh, start fouling here pretty soon as we reach crutch time. What we don't want to do is start trading fouls, though. That's what we need to make sure we stay away from. Contain on defense, play aggressively with intensity, but don't foul. Back in the game for the Panthers, Devontae Paul Paul Patterson. Let me remind you of somebody's Paul Paul. <laughs> Patterson, check him out. I, he does. It's just the way it, it's just the way he runs. <laughs> he reminds me of my grandfather. He really does. Back up top now, Johnson will have it. And we're gonna work the clock down uh, to a few seconds. Johnson steps back, shoots it for three. In and out, no good. Blackson with a great rebound. Oh man, that's huge there. Yes. Great rebound by 13. Blackson, especially now with uh, his foul trouble. Patterson thought about it. Man, I almost thought he got a travel wide open as Andrews. Puts it off the glass, yeah, for two. 13 rebounds for poise, Gary Blackson. Poise, poise. Yes, yes, Andrews. Woo, Being wow. super effective. Woo. John Jones, uh, even Coach nice uh, <laughs> even Coach Smith says, hey, man, come on, that's just obscene. Wow. John Jones with the uh, Steph Curry type of uh, three-pointer, folks. Stick around. We'll take a quick break and come back with this exciting finish. This is Panther Basketball on the Prairie View and in University. Panther Sports Network. Welcome back to the Baby Dome. The Panthers are finally starting to, or at least the Panther faithful, are finally starting to get that fire Gregory Burks wants uh, for the TSU game. And the Panthers have the ball with a minute and 33 seconds left to play, leading by 8, 75 to 67. Good defense, wide open. Patterson, the Panthers are going to play uh, pass around, and they're going to have to foul. Johnson now finds a lane, puts it up off the glass. No. And uh, no foul. Patterson has it down, and he finds a hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great job by Devontae Patterson. Man, these, these guys have really have their head in the game, this game. I mean, I've never seen them this focused uh, about what's going on. And we ought to be uh, taking a long walk down on that charge. Huh? What? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Such a smart decision to go and take that charge. Risky, but smart. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a foul. And that's the fifth personal foul on number three, Jalen Patterson. Yeah, Patterson is going to have to take uh, a seat. Now, where's our song? Where's our – go sit down. Like TSU did. That's what we should be playing, right? Go yeah. sit down. Shame on them. Back in my day, they would have. No, I mean, that, that's just some fun about the game. It's time to – stop being so soft. That's fun. <laughs> I didn't bother him over there. I didn't took the chance and played it. Uh, well, that's five for Jalen Patterson, yeah. who, um, you know, did had didn't have his typical type of game, but uh, his other teammates stepped up, Eden Ewing and Jeremy Combs. Definitely um, pulled the weight, as well as the bench. Nineteen points off the bench for both sides. That's really impressive. Well, and all for all practical purposes, uh, with a minute and six seconds left, barring a miracle, or a, a barrage of three-point shots. Wait a minute, they're taking points off of it. What, what's going on? Seventy-five to sixty-seven. Panthers with eight. Okay, this should make it a nine-point lead here. Uh, but barring a couple of big three-point shots, the Panthers should improve their record to two and three. As Jackson State comes to town and then Grammar, the Panthers can have a, uh, a Jerome Francis-like season here if we keep it up. Wide open, no foul, good job as uh, Justin Hopkins puts it in. And we're under a minute. Hey, the clock, the clock, the clock. Yeah, man, the clock didn't start. You didn't see the... the yeah, so I... Were you watching the clock? I don't, think, I don't okay. think the ref saw it, though. I, I know he didn't see it because it didn't start. Man, go watch it on the roller back. <laughs> Andrus for two, 75 to 69. The Panthers need these two free throws desperately. A little too close for my comfort. Oh, it tips in for the Panthers. 
All right, I'm gonna stick one heel on the Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Andrews with one more crucial one. Shot his way. Hits the side of the iron, no. So the Tigers are gonna have to come up quickly. Here we go, left side. Tariq Armstrong with it. You better watch John Jones, because Jones will hit it on the baseline now. It's Hopkins. No. Deep three-pointer. No. And Andrews gets the rebound. Big rebound for Andrews. What a game. Oh, man, what a pair. Oh, come on. Why did you stop that one? And a timeout or a foul? He grabbed Dennis oh, Jones. Oh, man. A foul, man. Jones. The Panthers, man, wow. Don Jones it's grabbed good. Dennis Jones. They're looking pretty good here oh. right now with uh, 76 to 69, 35 seconds left to play. And uh, our point guard on the line. Shouts away. Oh, no. Wow. Did I jinx him? You've got to knock him down, man. You got to knock him. those down. Wow. It all counts. Second shot. Oh, oh no. no. Here we go. Here come the Tigers. Down with 32 seconds left to play. 76 to 69. John Johnson. What? But they're in the bonus. And they're going to call a three-point shot. Oh, man, that's horrible. No, he's that. Come look at it on he, here. Yeah, come he on. He was here. not shooting. He was passing the ball. Yeah. It's very clear. Yeah. Let's look at it. We're going to take a look. No, come on, please take a look. No. Oh. Well, there's no need to take a look. He definitely was not shooting. Uh, well, they're, they're, gonna they're, him, they're going to give him three shots. No, he gets two. He he's, only gets yeah, two. Yeah, he's going to get two because we're in the bonus. He was going to shoot. Regardless, it was the, the argument of it, was he going to shoot three or shoot two? Well, what's his free throw average? Let's we got to jinx him, John, jinx him, John <laughs> Jones. John Jones. Well, free throw average is ninety two percent. Yeah, so we're going to jinx him, John Jones, <laughs> the ninety two percent free throw shooter. Okay, from uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, they're talking about it over there. We that's why we've got this instant replay camera over here. Good old Mike West. I'm telling you, he's got it together over there. Man, isn't it refreshing when you can just lead the students over there to run the, run everything? And They're Mike giving him three shots. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 First shot is away. It's good. Now it's a six-point lead for the Panthers. The Tigers are going to foul immediately. Mm -hmm. These last 30 seconds may end up being a five-minute um, game with the fouling. They may put, be playing on doing. The guy's like, oh, oh I got a point. It goes to this team. No. And a foul on Devontae Patterson, and we're going to go the other way. Yeah. That's the third person. Yep. And it's three. So Patterson will come down to uh, shoot the free throws. Now let's just keep our fingers crossed. Bro. Oh. Patterson shot us away. It's no good. Twenty-eight seconds left to play. Second shot is away. Oh my goodness! And a foul by Johnson. Oh my! Are you serious? Wow. What a interesting turn of events. Wow. Combs will be at the charity strike now. We, Gee whiz. We've been to the free throw line on both sides, and that clock has not moved because of fouling doing down, going down, down there at the block. Shot is away. It's good.
second shot is away. It's no good. The Panthers snatch down the rebound, and here we go. Johnson in a bit of trouble, and he's fouled, and he'll go to the line. Ooh. Bruce now has picked up number five. Come on, guys. Go sit down. Where is it? Go sit down. 24, Sean Olsen will check in now for the Tigers. Johnson will be at the line shooting, too. We've got to have these. Come on, Johnson. Shot us away. It's good. Sorry, uh, me and uh, Ray are sitting here beating up each other here uh, courtside. <laughs> Gee whiz. Those free throws are crucial, and they count. We've been missing most of ours here, here at the end, and Texas Southern has been making most of theirs here at the end, and it makes a big difference. Yeah, and you know what? You know why? You know why, you know why Greg Burks? You, you want to know why? <laughs> because free throws, Gotti, extend leads and win games. Down to 15 seconds. John Johnson just throws up a three-pointer. Hits the back of the iron no more. Combs. Puts it over. They're going to call that one on Andrus over the back, or they're going to call that one against Hopkins. Uh, they call it against Andrus. Well, Holmes was all over the back <laughs> uh, previously of Johnson. That's fine. We'll take that. We'll, well take well, it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take that one. Because that was another foul they missed. So, you know what? We'll take it. Hopkins will have two. First shot is away. It's good. Folks, don't forget to stick around. We'll take a, a quick break. Don't download. We'll talk to Byron uh, Smith after this one. And a miss on purpose and an over the back. And we'll take another long walk, long walk down here. And you said it, Ray. That Ray jinxed us. That 28 seconds has ended up being about five minutes. Johnson and the official coming over to Tennessee Johnson. Hey, man, Quinn, are you crazy? Don't blow the game for us. Hey, we got to win. We got to win, man. Gee whiz. Johnson uh, <laughs> getting a little upset. Might blow it. Yeah. Patterson puts it in the hole. 79 to 73 with 8.9 seconds. Or 8 seconds and 9 tenths of a second. Here we go back the other way. They give it on the right side. Armstrong stops from three-point line. Hits the front of the iron. No good. That's it. We've got it, baby. And I think so. Yeah, the Panthers have uh, pulled this one out, ladies and gentlemen. 79 to 73 here in the Baby Dome. Stick around. We'll take a quick break, come back, and talk with... Head coach Byron Smith, this is Exciting Panther Basketball on the Prairie View A&M University, Panther Sports Network. <laughs> Maybe don't, ladies and gentlemen, the Panthers victorious 79-73. to This wasn't the barn burner that we expected, but it was real, real close, Coach. You gave us, you gave us a big scare over there. I, I tell you, these guys, the first thing got here and I noticed was the focus that these guys played with. They were they were right there in the game. They didn't make a bunch of silly mistakes. They made some fouls that they could have, you know, maybe not done or not, but they were very, very, very focused, man. What a what a contest by this team. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate those kind words, Charles. They're definitely focused. And I'll tell you the thing I'm most proud of my team is that through a, a treacherous non-conference schedule, we talked about that and, and kind of got beat up and bruised up a little bit. These guys never stopped coming to work every day and, and busting it every day in practice. And you couldn't tell that, you know, we'd only won one game. You would have thought that we'd won all of our games just the way that the intensity. And so yeah. they were extra prepared for this because we, we squeaked out one at Alcorn on, on Monday night yeah. that could have gone either way. So I think it was a bit of a wake-up call. But, hey, it's a great rivalry, and we know Texas Southern always going to be uh, prepared. And, um, and I love it. I mean, it's, it's one of the best rivalries in, in college sports for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yes. Free throws, Coach, extend leads and win games. <laughs> 
and we got a little scared there down the stretch with throws, free throws. But, you know, having their head in the game and making some key rebounds at the end of the game, I think, was, was one of the key factors to, to winning this one. And also, man, the play of, of, of Gerard Andrews, where did you find this kid? Well, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a Geechee boy uh, from South Louisiana. South I'm trying to be the back swamps of South Louisiana. <laughs> hey, it's, some good, it's, not, it's not only good food down there, it's good people and good players down there as well. So uh, Gerard has overcome a lot, a lot of obstacles in his life, in his early life, you know, kind of. And had some bumps and bruises and things like that. Maybe didn't always do the things he needed to do, but uh, he, he's like a miracle, man. God has been so good to this young man, and I'm so thankful that he's here because he's overcome a lot of obstacles. I mean, a lot of people didn't think he'd make it this far. Just with some issues of frustration and things like that, he didn't handle things well as a young person, but he's done a 180, and I'm so glad that he's here right now. And I'm glad that we got him for another year after this one. So oh, it's, man, it's, it's, wow. So we're excited about him for sure. Well, I'm going to shut up and let Gotti <laughs> ask some questions, but before I, I do that, uh, Blackston, fourth double-double of uh, the year. Andrus a career high with 24 uh -huh. points yes. uh, for Andrus. Uh, another double double for for Blackson and the Panthers. Folks have not been three and zero in conference play since 2010 mm -hmm. during the uh, Jerome Francis heyday mm -hmm. here. Wow. Yes. Well, you know what a what, what, what a team. Well, make sure you uh, send uh, Dr. Simmons a uh, email. <laughs> Let her know that uh, my boss is Fred Washington. So sitting right there, sitting right there. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're excited. We just and we love being here. I love being here. It's just a blessing oh, from God to be here in the midst of good people such as yourselves and just Prairie View Nation. Just proud and honored to be here. And you know, we want to keep this thing moving forward. You know, we don't. We, we haven't had enough yet, Charles. We want to keep it moving. For sure. Well, I just want to ask about the turnovers because I think this is one of the best games as far as turnover rate. Only 11. So, like within the last maybe six minutes we had no turnovers at all is that something that you've been working on limiting those turnovers i, I think any smart coach that's interested in winning has to cut down the same thing in football you know you cut down on pre-snap penalties you cut down on turnovers it increases your chance of winning when you have guys like dennis jones who's as heady of, of, of a point guard as there is in this league and then you back him up with tyshawn johnson who's a grad transfer a fifth year senior from kent state with a tons of experience you know, we expect to have a few turnovers, and I think we can do even better. Our goal is to be under double figures in turnovers. I think we just missed it tonight with 11. Uh, but but I, I think we'll, we'll continue to take care of the basketball and make the right play. As far as this assist, too, they shared the ball super well tonight from the beginning to the end. And I don't know if it's a chemistry thing. What is it? Because, from, like I said, from the beginning, they were just – distributing ball really well. I think what happened was we really got out of the blocks really quickly and beating Santa Clara and you know, everybody was really excited and then we kind of, the, the life started. <laughs> we started getting on that road. <laughs> but I think one of the things that really uh, benefited us the most is having that four or five weeks off from Christmas break, uh, spring, uh, the fall break going into the spring semester. And we got a chance, it was just strictly basketball. We were going two a days and these guys really got a chance to bond and grow uh, and gel. And, and I think that it's showing right now. And, and hopefully this won't stop. This will just be the beginning of, of something really, really uh, special this year, uh, and we can continue to play well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's going to wrap it up for us with uh, Coach Byron Smith. Great job, man. We're we're so excited for you. Uh, finally, Tyshawn Johnson uh, had 13. I want to mention that the Panthers did really, really well in the paint uh, by uh, defeating them 34 to 30 points. And I think the point in the paint is, is where we really, really showed up. So great handy game. Off of the Panthers, folks, exciting Panther basketball comes your way. Next Saturday, we'll be right back here in the Baby Dome. Jackson State comes to town, and then Monday, we'll take on Gramlin State. Coach, any comments for those games coming up? Hey, it doesn't get any easier. Jackson is, you know, obviously led now by the pit bull dog himself, Ashley Robinson, running that program, doing a great <laughs> job down there. Wayne Brent's an excellent coach. Yeah. Jackson's always a formidable opponent. They'll play defense. They'll play a complete 40 minutes. And obviously, Gramlin coming in 48 hours later, the defending SWAT regular season champions uh, with a lot of guys that they had sitting out last year. They started off a little bit slow, uh, but, but they'll be rocking and rolling when they come in on Monday. So it doesn't get any easier. we got to enjoy this for the night. Hopefully the Cowboys get a win. Oh, we'll wow. have to be off tomorrow, maybe Monday, then we'll get back to work uh, Monday night, Tuesday, more, Tuesday uh, afternoon. We'll get back to work and be ready for Jackson. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, a couple of things before we go. We want to uh, send our thoughts and prayers out to the Prince family. Uh, uh, Mike, uh, uh, Dr. Michael Prince has uh, experienced a, a loss in his family, and we want to let you know how much uh, we're praying for you and we love you, and uh, we, we're going to be right here for you, man. So so hang in there. Mike's my classmate. So we graduated at the same time. Good guy. Uh, also, uh, George Edmund Jr.'s birthday was Wednesday. I'm going to send a shout-out to his parents, and uh, they know how much I, 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 I love them and how much we miss, miss George. And also, folks, uh, Michael Hurd, who's right here on the campus of Prairie View University, has written a book, Coach, 
called uh, Thursday Night Lights, <laughs> uh, the story of black college <laughs> high that's school me. sports uh, in Texas. Uh, going back to the PBIL, the TCLIS, uh, the Texas uh, Interscholastic League for Colored Schools. I mean, they've got some big names in that book. It is an interesting read, and I encourage you uh, to pick up a copy because we're going to ask – uh, Mr. Michael Hurd for a donation for this plug that I've given him. How about that? But, uh, a, a great book there, and uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, you get an opportunity to know that it's, it's out there. That's going to wrap it up for us here in the Baby Dome, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a good one. The Panthers finally are victorious here. 75 to 67, was that it? And, uh, my 79, 79, 73. 79, 73, 73 yes. Yes. ladies and gentlemen. For our athletics director, vice president of athletics, Mr. Fred Washington, vice president of athletics, Ms. Coach Alicia Peach. Uh, Dwayne Lewis, Mr. Uh, Michael West, Christian Flowers, Isaiah Hubbard, and the brand new Marshala Thomas. Uh, this is Charles Porter, Gotti Wadima, and Ray Wortham saying so long. We'll see you next week with more exciting Panther basketball. <laughs>